All right, I think we are live. We'll give it a few minutes here, let some people join. I think if anyone's on, if you guys can hear me, just let me know. It's our first Mr. Beer Live video. All right, got one person on. We'll see, it looks like we've got two viewers in there now, which is good. Um, we're probably gonna give it a minute or two uh, to get some more people to join before we start talking about our conversation today. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, it seems like everything's working well. Um, so we will give it another minute and then we'll hop into our topic today. Um, while we're waiting for the time being, I'm drinking a collaboration between Coronado and Belching Beaver Brewery today. Hazy IPA, which are one of my favorites. So yeah, so we'll give it to about the two minute mark and then we'll get started guys, that sounds good. That's a good beer. That is a good one. All right, so about 30 seconds and then we'll get going. I think the start of these will be a little slow at first as we kind of work out the kinks and get used to uh, how long it takes everybody to join and all that stuff like that. So we'll, we'll see how it goes and, and see what happens. So we'll give it about another 10 seconds. Um, just drink another sip of beer before we get started. All right, so we have some people on. We will welcome you to the very first installment of Mr. Beer Live. Um, since this is our first kind of tryout, hopefully, of many episodes that we're going to try to do on a weekly basis, um, I kind of want to lay out the structure ahead of time so you guys know what to expect. And then next time you can join, and we'll give you a better heads up of when we'll be doing these. So you can plan out your schedule a little bit accordingly. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover a brewing topic related to Mr. Beer for five, ten minutes, and we'll open up to a QA and a at the end of the show. Um, if you're not able to watch the, hi Lori, if you're not able to watch the weekly video, we will upload them on our Facebook page. Uh, we're going to upload them to YouTube and hopefully on the blog on our website so you can go back and look at the topics that we're talking about and stuff like that. Or if you missed it, want to reference an old topic, all that information. Um, while we're on the topic of social media, I think most of you do follow us on Facebook. Check out our Instagram page, subscribe to our YouTube account as we're posting these videos more often. That will help you keep up to date on kind of what's going on and what's new. Um, we also have something that's new if you guys want to join. Last week we started a Mr. Beer Facebook group. It is called Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. You have to say it in a cool voice when you say it. Um, we're inviting everyone who's brewing with Mr. Beer to join or who wants to learn about Mr. Beer to join. I think it's going to have a lot of information on there. We've had a ton of activity in the week. A week so far, we got about 200 members and, you know, over almost 2,000 posts and engagement and all that stuff. So the people that are in the group that are watching, you know, thanks for getting that going for us. Um, so let's dive into today's topic. We're going to talk about the difference between a booster and an LME and what's the difference. So if you brew with Mr. Beer, you know we have boosters and we have a packet of LME. Hold that a little higher for you. Uh, so the booster is basically it's made up of corn syrup solids consisting of 8% glucose, 56% malt, maltose, 16% malt choice, and 20% dextrins. Uh, the booster is going to provide a full balance range of both fermentable and unfermentable sugars. So they kind of mimic the carbohydrate profile of all malt wort, which is very scientific information in case you guys are wondering. Uh, each pouch of booster is going to approximately add about 0.6% of alcohol into your beer, 1.3% uh, if you use two of them. So we use these in our standard Mr. Beer refills. Um, so if you order any Mr. Beer refill from mrbeer.com, you'll get two packets of these, and those will increase your beer to a roughly 5% ABV. And all these are mainly good for is increasing the alcohol content of your beer. Uh, we also sell Mr. Beer liquid malt extracts, which come in a nice little silver pouch like this. And what these are, these are packets of unhopped malt extract. And basically all this is gonna do is it's gonna add more mouthfeel and flavor to your beer, 
by increasing the ABV by about 1%. So if you're looking to really get more flavor, more body, just more mouthfeel when you drink the beer, you're going to want to go with an LME. Uh, we have four different styles depending on what beer style you're brewing. So we have the pale, which would be good for like our classic American light, American lager, and some of those guys. Uh, the golden, which is our wheat one. It's hard to see in the light there. The golden, which goes for a wheat. And we also do a robust and a smooth. Um, and those are kind of based off the style that you're brewing. So if you're brewing a Oktoberfest or something along those lines, you'll use the smooth if you want something more robust and you're building like a Winter Dark or our St. Patrick's Stout. But the robust in there, you get all those rich multi flavors out of them. So the comparison between the two to kind of contradict the two is, uh, so the booster is simply just for increasing your alcohol content. It's uh, not really going to add much flavor to your beer or any good or bad flavors. I think there's a stigma out there that sometimes adding extra fermentables like boosters can uh, create off or cidery flavors, but the formulation of ours, it will not really do that. Um, but it will just help get you to that higher alcohol content, which I think is really good that most people want to do. Uh, and the LME is going to be mostly for flavor and some ABV. So if you're looking to get more flavor out of your beer, I'd recommend using the LME. If you're looking just to get straight alcohol content out of the base standard cans, then I would recommend adding more booster to your batch. Um, that's kind of why we do the boosters with the standards and then our deluxe refills come with the LME because they're going to have more flavor and stuff like that. Um, so we're trying to keep these pretty short and not go on for too long. So that was kind of our topic for today. Um, we are going to open it up to a Q&A question session. If anybody has any questions about the topics that we talked about or about Mr. Beer in general, we can go ahead and answer those for you in the uh, live Facebook chat here. And then if not, then we will wrap it up and save you guys some time so you can enjoy your Friday of drinking some beer. All right, let's see what we got going here. Let me uh, scroll down. Uh, yes, Pat is right. Uh, also improved head retention with the LME, that is correct. So we'll, one thing, increase the head retention and improve the flavor and the mouthfeel of your beer. Um, all right, well, we're getting close to uh, 10 minutes here. We're going to try and keep these between about 10 and 15 minutes on a regular basis. Um, we will be doing these on a weekly basis, so we will try and provide a better time of when we will actually be doing these beers or these videos. And uh, so you guys can either plan ahead or make sure you watch or subscribe to our channel so you get notified when they come up. Um, don't forget to join our Facebook group and find a lot of information about Mr. Beer in there. We've got a little behind the scenes stuff that go on and we do take requests for future episode topics in the group. So if you have an idea that you think we should talk about and you would like to let us know, join the Facebook group and I'm in there and there's other, uh, Ashley and Zach that are in there that work at Mr. Beer as well. So that'll be good. And, um, that's it. So we will, uh, see you guys next time. Cheers.